thank you for that wonderful rendition. Another round of applause for those amazing singers, please. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the representative of Lagos State Governor, the Lagos State Secretary, and senior members of the Lagos State Cabinet. Ladies, gentlemen, friends, welcome to all of you. For many of us, it is a routine shock to realize that the UK Parliament is not always opened with a Queen's speech, that we no longer work for Her Majesty's government, and that tonight is not the Queen's birthday. You'll hear lots of us talking about the KBP, the Queen's birthday party. So tonight, tonight we have a novelty. Tonight we have the King's birthday party something that the UK has not celebrated for 72 years. The last time was in 1952. In the intervening period, largely unremarked upon, definitely against the trend in wider society, a woman, never questioned, held the highest office in the United Kingdom. She was our head of state. And for most of us alive today, for myself, for most of my staff, that was just how it was. No one questioned that a woman should hold that role. So you might say now that we're entering into a bit of an experiment. We're gonna have a test to see whether men in the United Kingdom are able to hold this illustrious position. What do we think? I hear some giggles around the room. We'll have to see. It is a special treat tonight to host this party for His Majesty, King Charles III, particularly here in Lagos, because he's a man who is known to enjoy art and to appreciate dancing. And who can forget Tiwa Savage performing at his coronation concert earlier in the year? So what better place to celebrate his birthday than here in Lagos, the cultural capital of Nigeria. He is also known, and possibly better known, for his long-standing passion for nature conservation and environmentalism. And I'm proud that this event here tonight has as its theme sustainability and the youth. And as much as possible, we're using recycled and reusable material tonight, including the accessories that we're all wearing. And following this theme, in a few moments' time, we will have the pleasure of seeing the ingenious work of the Green Fingers Wildlife Initiative, a non-profit conservation group that works with young people. Their trash and show celebrates the best of Lagos. Creative fashion design, an individual drive to make the environment better. But we also can't do events like tonight without support. And so I would like to thank all of our sponsors, all named on the boards behind me, and particularly Standard Chartered Bank, our platinum sponsor, and Avanti, our gold sponsor. But I'd also, and mostly, I'd like to thank all of you for attending. You represent the breadth and the depth of the UK-Nigeria relationship across so many sectors, with so many family links, through so much shared history and so many shared values. And that is why we're here tonight. And by the way, for those of you who doubt it, I am, of course, sure that my boss, King Charles, will be every good as his monarch as his mother has been. It is with great pleasure that I call upon the Lagos State, State Secretary to say a few words on behalf of the government. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Thank you very much. 
This is Lagos. That's how we say welcome. Hey, Corey, thank you very much. Thank you very much um, for your very brilliant speech. We actually appreciate that. But I must add that tonight you have amongst us, if there's any large group, it's the Lagos State Government large group. And so I'd ask that we give the Lagos State Government a round of applause. Thank you. The Deputy Consular General of British High Commission, thank you once again for being here. The members of the Lagos State Executive Council here present, all diplomatic missions here present, captains of industries, distinguished invited guests, members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to read Mr. Governor's speech. The Governor of the State of Excellence, the State of Aquatic Splendor. It is a great privilege and honor to join distinguished guests at this reception organized to celebrate the birthday of His Majesty King Charles III. I thank Mr. Johnny Baxter, the British Deputy High Commissioner Lagos for the honor of the invitation to be part of this historic celebration of His Majesty's birthday, the first after his coronation. This occasion presents an opportunity to felicitate with the royal family, the government and the people of the United Kingdom, and for two countries, and Lagos State in particular, to continue to nurture our existing, friendly, and mutually beneficial relationship. Just about a week ago, I led a delegation from our state to the Lord Mayor's show in London. During that visit, we had fruitful engagements that would further open investment and business opportunities between Lagos and the business community in the United Kingdom. It was also a great honor for me as the governor, my wife as a first lady, and members of my team to join other guests of Her Majesty, the Queen of, of England at the Queen's Commonwealth Essay Competition 2023 Award award ceremony at the Buckingham Palace. It is therefore heartwarming that we are here once again, gathered together at the British residence here in Lagos State to felicitate with His Royal Majesty and the people of United Kingdom in celebration of the birthday of King Charles III. On this note, and on behalf of the government and the good people of Lagos State, I felicitate with His Royal Majesty King Charles III and wish him many more years of good health and remarkable impact on the throne. May your special day be filled with joy, love, and blessings fit for a ruler of your caliber. Please enjoy your evening. And thank you for listening. Would you all join me? Hopefully you have a glass. They should be coming round. There is British sparkling wine in it. Uh, so for all of those of you who are skeptical about British wine, British sparkling wine, have a sip. It's very good, I promise you. But before you do that, I would like to use this opportunity, please, to raise a glass, a toast to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Nigeria. The President. And please now join me in a toast to His Majesty, King Charles III, the King. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, and I hope you're all enjoying our British wine. Who knew, eh? <laughs> Can we please have back on the stage the British Deputy High Commissioner? Yeah. Okay. You can now drink. Um, Vice Chairman Africa, and Thank you. King. Thank you so very much. It's usually to the Queen whenever I'm here. But we now have a king. I wish him all the very best. And I wish him a very, very happy birthday. Many, many happy returns. In good health in joy and in fulfillment and um, may he continue to propel the UK to greater heights in his position as the king just as his mother did for so many decades. I pray that God will guide him and he will be endowed with great wisdom to be able to uh, uh, champion the cause of progress of the United Kingdom. Hello, I am Honorable Prince Bamidele Obaiton, wishing King Charles a happy, blessed, and prosperous birthday. Long live the King. On the celebration of his birthday, wishing him an amazing birthday and all good things this year. Happy birthday! This is wishing His Royal Majesty uh, King Charles a uh, happy birthday, uh, lots more healthy years, and um, you know, we wish you healthy reign. Um, on behalf of His Royal Majesty of our side, Ademola Elegushi Kushila III, uh, the Elegushi of the Kate Kingdom, Lagos State, Nigeria, we say a happy birthday to His Royal Majesty, the King of England. Thank you. Happy birthday, King Charles. We wish you long life and prosperity and good health and more life. Majesty King Charles III, long may you reign, long may you continue to guide us. Happy birthday. Your Majesty, happy birthday. Uh, congratulations on your 75th birthday. Uh, it's a great honor to be here and help celebrate uh, the occasion. Uh, long live.